This evening, I will share three poems with you. The first one is entitled, Inside Your Own Short Story, as told to you by me, from U.S. British led attack on Iraq and dedicated to Palestinian writer, artist, activist, Hassan Kenafani. Hassan Kenafani assassinated inside your own car, inside your own short story, blown up driving a niece to college, two lives too rich to perish into unfading ashes, selfish secret assassin ogled and darted. Freedom fighter assassinated inside your own short story. Resistance poetry will set you free. Occupiers still have our motherland, never still in the night. Daily raids kidnapping children. By night, swoop boys up like mythical winged dragons. Rocks nestle in pockets and close to hearts. Freedom fighter assassinated poetics by candlelight, newspapers underground, stillborn babies, tear gassed nonviolent protesters, shot at nonviolent protesters, rubber bulleted nonviolent protesters, imprisoned political prisoners, nonviolent protesters, and some still looking for our Gandhi. More than an intifada skulks about nowadays, jabbing and jerking among immortal cacti, an incessant people's revolution, this intifada, literally a shaking off. Fire in the hearts, stones cracked and crumbled for freedom, weapons possessed against the David. Children of the Stone Age Intifada, kip with their marbles and rocks, sole survivor alongside immortal cacti of 450 Palestinian villages flatlined. Look, Hassan, look down, see ripened prickly fruit. Loosen stones underneath deep-rooted base. Lean your ear. Listen to loosening rocks swishing through the air, hurled by boys who will wane in a cell for decades for such exploits without a rock in sweaty palms. Listen to prolific cacti. Listen to calls and moans of mothers. And then the 90s presented us horrors akin to Hiroshima in Iraq and onward, our cradle of civilization, everyone's Mesopotamia. Shukran. It's good to see you all here. Thank you for being here. The second poem I will share with you this evening was inspired um, when my daughter visited Gaza twice on humanitarian missions. Uh, this was in the 208, 209 massacre, entitled Coping. Death once has a way of coping. Catastrophe or Nakba of 1948, steel heavy sadness, steel and rubber bullets, chronic loss, mothers mourning each dawn, lone survivor yearning for notice among ashes, shrines in the hollows, spirits rising, wailing, death circadian, wanton, genocidal, Palestine goddess mother, mourning each dawn, Mother of mothers, mother of me. She dies, she rises. She dies daily. This way of dying more than once leaves one without a way to cope. This way of dying is clandestine. So many are guilty in the tangle. So many are guilty. So many are complicit in the game. So many are selfish in their ways. So many are crafty in their lies. Leave my mother alone, at peace, at home, for a rebirth, and invite us, invite me to her baptism in the Jordan River.
shukran. This poem has uh, experienced about three revisions. I think this is the final one. It is entitled, I actually revised it today. <laughs> this is entitled, The More I Love Me, Me, the Palestinian. The more they hate me, their convenient, ugly Arab. The more I love me, me, illustrious Palestinian. The more fictitious villains and boogeymen, women, me, trolling their myths and propaganda for covetous gain, feeding their sharp steel teeth for imperialist, industrial, military complex and illegal hilltop colonizers. The more they label me terrorist and them not, the more I share me, show me, write me, read me. The more they demonize me, bind me, gag me, kill me. The more I cook maklube and mujaddara for partaking. The more they portray me perpetrator, criminal, liar. The more I play Marcel Khalife and Baghdad blues. The more they label me foolish, refusing substantial offers and not partner for negotiation, unwilling to co compromise. The more I recite Mahmoud Darwish, Ghassan, and Fadwa, the more they laugh out loud, mock me, block me, say I'm subserving it to men and their ubiquitous laws and canon, the more I brave independence, power, womanhood. The more they bomb and bomb and bomb and bomb and bomb, the more I parade truth, humanity, goodness, prominence. The more they violate international law, then spin, spin, spin. I made them do it, massacre indiscriminately in self-defense committing mass murder minus impunity, not even a flinch from leaders from sea to sea, from soil to sky. And so the almighty occupiers grin and sneer, carry on dropping white phosphorus on babies cradled by mothers. The more that die and die and die without a trace outer utterance, the more I persevere to protect what is left of humanity, the more land, home, and orchard they pilfer from me, the more I thrive with less, and yet still I have more. The more of me they slay in Shatila, Sabra, Hebron, Hebron Janin, Gaza, the more living and fallen angels appear before the good restoring an empowering vision, breath, compassion, valor. The more they hate me, their ugly Arab, and indoctrinate others to hate me, the more I love me, me, the Palestinian. Thank you. Shukran.